poppin' is your boy Mike Powers <laughs> Does OVO have a connection to the streets up there? Of course. Anything okay. anything big has that connection. You know, um, they're connected to some East dudes right across the block from me, man. Right across. I, I know some of those OVO dudes. Look, look, th 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 this shit goes hand in hand. You know mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. On Soul's Mystery. Because mm -hmm. I think we were just on this, sort of on the subject just a second ago. You talk about the dichotomy of who you are on that song. You very subtly speak on your duality. Is there any struggle in that duality? And do you know who you are right now? That's a, that's that that's the point. See, now we just segue to what I'm saying. There's duality always in life, especially when you reach these ages, because obviously you made some of the right choices to be here. I made some right choices to be here. I could have went down a dark place, but my lack of ignorance allowed me to be here. With that being said, a lot of time you're born into curses. You're born into, or you've done too much that sometimes you got to think about what you've done. Mm -hmm. So, so I move very intricately still, even though there's a lot more flowers and rainbows in my life than there was prior. The the darkness never leaves. So I'm constantly battling that. I'm con I know who I am as a person though. I'm very firm in that. That's why there's no worry or stress in approaching daily life. Mm -hmm. Death, death is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like why you bring that to you? When I got shot, I, I, I was just saying, when I got shot, I was watching my dude brought um, this DVD to my house, uh, Faces of Death. I remember that. Right. And I remember my man's, one of my man's like, yo, you guys are watching this shit. You're going to bring this type of shit to you. And Indeed, we're, we're already deep in some shit, but indeed, literally the next day, I got shot. So it's like, those type of things stick in my head. Like, yo, what am I promoting? All these type of energies, what am I looking towards? And that made me realize my power. Yo, I'm powerful. Why am I wasting it on that shit? So I'm very, I'm very, um, I'm very careful with who I let around me. Glow is such a big record. I know I keep talking about this. You got a ton of records. Um, but Glamorous Life of Winners. Right. right? That's, that's what Glow stands for, right? Um, I, to me, it's such a big record. I love the whole vibe of it. Bless. Nowadays, stress don't affect me. Fast in the dresser ain't that necessary. Hitting seas with the jet skis when the borders let me. Want a fortress in the A like Tyler Perry. I've been focused in my quarantine. Been known to be a scorer coming off the screen. I've been running faster, nigga nearly caught my dream. Who be fucking with us? Near not a ten. The heavy, like, soul R&B influence that's there. Um, do you think, don't you think that that sound lends itself to the over 35 demographic? 100%. That's, yeah. That's the, shit, that's the shit I only listen to. I love that over 35 demographic. And I think that over 35 demographic loves me. And I'm a cater to that. You know what I mean? I love that shit. And, and then you think about Ghostface. That's like one of my favorite rappers. That's such a Ghostface joint. Like, yo, this is what I listen to. Why would you make shit that you just listen to? You know what I mean? And hey. Down to production, when I get those joints, I have albums and albums of shit like that already ready, tied a bow on them. Because you talked about the Louis store and you talk about the white gloves. That's that, that's that white glove music. You know what I mean? Exactly what I like exactly that, though. I like that a lot. And, um, you know, I had to go back and listen again to, geez, what's the name of this? Let me talk my shit. Let me talk my, right. Uh, that motherfucker kicked it starts off so soulful it's so much shit on right, that album. right right bro thank you for making that and then make some more that sound like that please because you. you can always count on me to pump that shit that's fly you know what i mean it's like it's that hip-hop where you're talking that arrogant fly shit little sprinkle some street in it whatever but guess what your lady with you you can do that with your girl with it Absolutely, absolutely. It's for various people. It's for maturity. Maturity. Brain forget the feeling of black. Her melanin is thick. I love the feeling of black. They expecting us to quit to keep their feet on our back. 
We adapted, we equipped, we could eat on our back All mine are like soldiers, grinds with our shoulders Combined it with soda, now we feeling like crap They addicted to our power, now we feeding them packs Or we wet them, let it shower till we even the stats What was the last thing you truly regretted? Last thing I truly regretted? Bag. I think, without being too specific, I regret giving my energy to certain people that didn't deserve it. Giving myself bare. I only come wearing my fucking heart on my sleeve. Wearing my heart. And when people take advantage of that and don't understand how important that is, and I cold shoulder them, then they regret it. And don't they start acting oh, weird after that too, don't they? Right. I turn regrets into more regrets for them. <laughs> People talk about Illuminati in this game. You ever worry that you could get so popular that they try to make you take the oath? <laughs> Yo, I wish Lord Fury heard that question. Uh, nah, I don't ever worry about that because it's just, if I get that close, it'll be worse for them because <laughs> that's exposing times. You know what I mean? Uh, we, don't fe we don't fear things like that over here. I don't know. You know what? We, we we come from the culture where we look into all these things, and I'm very well versed of, you know, that YouTube type of Illuminati shit. And I love that shit. I love fucking, uh, what you call it, conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe, honestly, to be like the back, the way I'm set, I really believe that it's like that. Because when they put it in front of you so much, it's like you try to hide the truth, right? You're trying to make it seem like it's so fake, but they're putting it right in front of us. Man, I don't worry about that shit. We're going to fold that. We're going to start my whole shit. I want to start my own government, bro. That's it. And okay. anyone that's like me, let's govern ourselves. Let's build our families over here. Let's buy the land that we can do that. That's the type of shit I look into. And that's I'm not going to never see you on an album cover like this. That's not. <laughs> no, you won't. You won't see that. Uh, like none of that. None of that. Yeah, all this shit. All this. <laughs> Who's your number one MC of all time, dead or alive? Whew. That's a fucking impossible question, bro. Because that changes so much. But I'm going to go with Ghostface. Mm. Ghost, I okay. have to go with Ghostface. Ghostface. So yeah. I, I think my favorite out of the wool has always been Ray. I just, his style yeah. is so slick. You know what I mean? Yeah. He is and, slick. Uh, you know, and by the time he got around to doing Skew It on the Barbie with Outcast, that boy went on Outcast yeah. cut and Come just stole it. Yeah, stole it. How you still a song from Andre three thousand, but it really happened. I know that's that's crazy, and Andre yeah. three thousand is a lead elite. That's that's really hard to do. Right. And it was right. that type of beat wasn't something that you'd hear Rick went on. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, and he murdered it. He deliver just fucking ran right audio. through that shit. Yeah, deliver this through your audio. Yeah, he killed that. Yeah, shit. Yeah, just like oh, it's like, and now, and but first time you heard that song, then every time you heard that song, I was like, you can't wait till the Raekwon verse yeah, come on. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that's that's but I'm crazy. Biased. I'm, a, I'm a woo baby, man. I love woo. Anything woo. Like you're talking about remedy earlier, and automatically I could just proof into monock them, block them, block them. Yeah. I remember that. I remember like I I have that's that's my life, man. Wu Tang is. That's that's everything to me. Shout the remedy. Shout to my man Wes Craven Barbershop Talk Podcast. Who was me and him was talking about that yesterday. Yes. What's up with the wine tours? I was on your IG. <laughs> Yo, that's just you know that's that's a, a husband duties and you know what it it's it's what that is too is um getting out of isolation, man. We did that with the people. Like I've gone home. Like I'm mature, brother. Like I'm with with brothers that are married. You don't have fucking homes taking care. Some of them have kids. Some of them don't. But the best part is those brothers that you see me with beat the odds. Half of those brothers done five, six years. Now going to places where we own triplexes. We own various properties. We buy stocks. And we have a group that we meet once a month fi for financial advice. Black brothers. I want to go back to the wine, right? Mm -hmm. Go back. What you fuck with? You fuck with the Pinot Grigio, the Merlot? Um, what do you do? You do the California shit? You do the French? You know what? We do, uh, to be honest, I, I love my little rosé, like, mixtures with the Pinot Grigio. Like, they, they, they combine them. But, like, I'm on the low sugar shit. Mm. So, so we'll go, like, Cabernet, Sauvignon, Sauvignon mm -hmm. Blanc. Like, we do all of that shit. It's just, for me now, I just look at sugar content. I'm no not even more about the anything sugary is crazy to me 
you know uh, i love my wine but i I'm, I'm lying to you if wine is everything it's mostly i love hard liquor bro that's my I used that's to be 151 problem. heavy. That, that was tearing my, my guts problem, up. Man. I, I love my stop. Bombay, my Bombay Sapphire. That mm. shit. I love my tequila too. I love my fucking, bro, I drink, I love my whiskey. Oh man, shout to OGB putting me on some of that Kentucky mash shit. Yo, my, my crown, I drink mad crown. I drink crown by the leaders. Yo, alcohol cannot stay in my home, man. Like it cannot. And that's that that that's what led to my weight loss is because I took such a, a, a um dedicated time to try and move that out of my life because that yeah. was a real bro. I'm drinking four bottles a week, you know what I mean? And that's regular. Like that's just I'm not. It's not even affecting me. Like this is just I'll be at home. Just yeah, let's watch let's watch a fucking TV series and you know I'll watch eight episodes and drink the whole bottle by myself. That type of shit. I thought I was doing a lot when I was doing. And it's a, not affecting. I, it's I'm not that drunk where I'm like, yo, socially I'm gonna be. Ooh, you changed this guy. Mm -hmm. It's not affecting, so that's why it's more dangerous because it's almost encouraged. Like, yo, Ace can handle his liquor. You know, Ace is out over here, and then it's paying. My my health is paying the price. Um, what was the process of putting together, um, putting 98 miles together with Mav and Sid Brock? beautiful that was one of the most beautiful those two brothers man mav sibs class act brothers mature talking with those brothers is like even better that the music was so effortless and easy we probably made that in like a month easily Just, shout to mav that's my brother shout to mav mav is the truth man Mav yeah. is absolutely my brother. I think that that connection we have is just lifelong. Like, you know, like that's that's someone I'm supposed to meet. We have these conversations that are beautiful. It don't even got to be about music with Mav. At all. We don't even talk about music most yeah. of the time. Like that's how easy the album came. It's like, check. And, and from stuff I hear about Mav from his people is like, yo, how hard was it? Yo, the hardest shit, how hard was it working with like, because he's picky, right? as we all should be. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing we had to do was the album cover. The album cover was the hardest part of the, the whole project. artwork. That's it. That was the hardest oh, part. That album cover. Right. Who, the, who's the, who did the art on that? So we got the artwork from Chris B. Murray. He fucking, that dude does all types of venture. He has like, he's doing Reebok and all types of Nike shit. He's next level. And for the fact that he, he wanted to work with us. Like he said, he wanted to work with us. That was like a privilege. And that dude, he put us actually in like a series. Yeah, it's right up here. That's his cover art, right? Let me. Yeah, I'm looking at it on my phone right now, too. The detail right. of my joint. Oh, I got a rapid fire round. Oh, I almost forgot to do this, but I'm glad I thought of it. Um, I'm going to say some names. Go ahead. You give me one word that comes to mind Daniel Son. Elite. Falcon Outlaw. No face. 50 Cent. Perfect. Kanye West. Weird. Uh, <laughs> Eric Cartman. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Overrated. Asen Eastwood. Dharma. <laughs> hey, okay, so moving on to my next question. Transformers or He-Man? Transformers. <laughs> okay. Uh He-Man He-Man be looking mad when you look back at He-Man. Yo, He-Man looking super bro. Super, <laughs> you gotta say no homo when you watch He Man. Like you gotta say it while you're watching He Man. Like he's riding this fucking thing. Yo, bro, He Man is crazy. I saw He Man the other day. Like, yo, we watched this shit, and I had, <laughs> I used to love He Man and shit. Uh, why would they try to program with this fucking this Viking looking nigga? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, put some fucking clothes on my guy yeah <laughs> fucking speedos and shit just looking wild crazy um 
Claire Huxtable or Thelma from Good Times? Oh, Claire. Yes, thank you. Claire. I thought you might have said Thelma, but Claire. EPMD or Run DMC? EPMD. My mm. time. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you had to lose one or the other forever, which would you sacrifice first? Your beard or your lyrical ability? My beard. How are you? Oh, okay. What was your welcome to hip hop moment? Like, when did you know that you were supposed to be doing this? Mm. Oh, okay. I went to I went to Italy in 20, 2017. The dude grabs my the, the driver grabs my wife's bags. We're headed we're headed to Mafi Coast. Grabs my wife's bags, you know, greets my wife, doesn't say shit to me. So I'm like, all right, I'm holding my bag still. I'm like, all right, let me watch this dude. So we pull over to this random spot. I hop out. I, I, I go to use the bathroom. I come back out. And my wife is holding a phone. And it has a picture of me on it. My wife is showing me. And I'm like, yeah, you know? It's like, yo, these guys. So a bunch of Italian dudes are like, yo, hey, son, Eastwood. They can't even speak English. Hey, son, Eastwood? Could we get a picture? Like, they're trying to get a picture. I'm like, oh, shit. All right. Yo, this is crazy. All the way in Italy. So, in Italy. So I take this picture and I was like, okay, cool. Like, this, that was unbelievable. So that made me realize, but the best part of the story is now, dude is on my dick. <laughs> Fucking, the dude drive me like, yo, what do you do? You know, he's talking, he's, he's giving us a, he brought me on this whole tour to see lemons and he took us on this other, he walked, so in Amalfi Coast, it's mad steps, like it's all mountainous type of shit. He walked all our bags. He made two trips. It was like fucking a hundred steps, bro. High elevation. Two trips. Yo, could I get your autograph? Could I? He didn't even know who the fuck I was. And I'm not even that level, especially at that time. And he was just, you know, he was so happy. He took a picture with me. He went from one way to totally opposite. But that made me realize that. You That's know, your dude, welcome bro. to hip hop moment right there. Where'd you get that coat that you? I'm, <laughs> like, what is yeah, that? Um, Shout out my plug, man. I have a plug out here that just gets a fly as shit. And, you know, he calls me. I got your size. And he just holds it for me. We'll talk off camera because I might have to cop me something exclusive. We you know were, I, mean? we I tried to get in the low club. You know what I mean? I tried, right. to, I tried to buy my way into the uh, low life shit for cheap. I don't play like that. <laughs> it ain't a cheap hobby, though. This shit ain't cheap. I know. They don't get it for <laughs> it ain't cheap. I don't. I don't got the plug that I get it for cheap. I get it. I just get the exclusive. <laughs> what's what's your monthly budget on clothes? Um, now nowadays it's not crazy because I've stocked so much that I've I've actually taken a full um I assess myself since COVID hit because I had a whole bunch of shit that I hadn't worn and I had nowhere to go and I realized like yo I'm you know what type of money I could be saving because I was saving money not buying shit because I'm not going everywhere and doing certain things. And I'm like, yo, look at all this shit. Like, what is this shit? COVID had me cleaning out. I donated so much shit. Bruh, I, I now, like, I realized where I was fucking up. And I actually put all that budget. I'd probably say that my clothes budget was probably about two, three grand a month. And that's clothes and shoes. I started putting that into cryptocurrency. Um, So on, on the second verse of Evolving, now we've been talking about this guy. Another oh. dude pops up on the cut, Lord Fury. You talk to me about Lord Fury because this dude snapped. He crazy yo, on the mic. Talk to me. Yo, Lord Fury been doing this forever, man. Lord Fury is one of a kind. Honestly, that's an interview you're going to love. And, and like you should that's one you should do because oh yeah we gonna do it he has experience out here he's 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 a legitimate i have no i never call another man my og but this man and my father the two only ogs he is a dude that will do various dangerous things 
but at the same time, hit the community and cook for the whole community, teach the whole community to play chess, know everyone. We go anywhere. Everyone knows him. He has done so much and the recognition he deserves has not been paid yet. And I'm my part is to help that be known. Go follow and Lord Fury on Lord IG Fury. and tap into this man's music. He better than he better than most of your favorite rappers. Yeah. Like and he has honestly, a lot of workout. Yeah. A lot of workout. A yeah. lot of vinyls out there. Yeah. Trust me. He's um, a Wu affiliate, Moon Crickets, Killer Priest, Merciless, and Lord Fury. You know? He be having conversation with Ghostface like this. Like just like he be driving food out to Ghostface, not driving it himself. Like he'll make the food here in Toronto, get a driver to drive it nine hours because Ghostface wants this certain type of healthy food. Like he only trusts Fury. Wow. <laughs> and that that that's the type of service he'll provide. Like he'll be a personal chef nine hours away. Shout the <laughs> Lord Fury. One of a kind. One of a kind. And what a name too! Damn, yeah, the, that, the name one. says it all. Like he's not Fury playing. Like he, the he, the the moniker matches who that guy is, right? One hundred percent. Um, if you were an R and B singer from any era, who would you be? Ooh, this is the type of shit. This is my shit. <laughs> R and B singer from any time, any time, dead or alive, don't matter. Oh my god, it'd be Marvin. It'd be Marvin. It'd be Marvin. Yeah. Marvin. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be Marvin or Teddy P. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Turn off the lights. Like yelling at bitches and <laughs> right. still fucking those hoes. Turn you know, them like, off. Turn them off. Like, I want to say that shit. Like, <laughs> yo, fuck. And still get pussy. Like, I would fucking have AIDS tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I had him Teddy P records. That he'd be going oh, raw. Yeah, he put the Teddy P. Let me see it again, though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close up that joint. Yes, yes. Yeah. Is that been open or not? Nah? Yeah, it's open. Okay, everything's open over here. I was about to say, bro. Yeah. Oh man, is that a cowboy hat? Like a Sherling. With the Sherling on? Yeah. <laughs> With Fucking the cowboy. Yeah, on this cowboy shit. Niggas on some different shit. Oh, so yeah, I got this. I don't, it looked like I only got one question, which is good. I done made myself a whole bunch of shit that I got to fucking edit. What I'm probably going to do is end up chopping this shit up, dropping it in. I'm trying to work this shit out to make it great for the audience. Do you, what, man. Do you. Appreciate what was it like for you to go up to Sirius XM and do that? Oh, that was dope. That was uh, really dope. Um, Man, that was... You know what? I wish I got it again. Like, that. those... those those trips, like that's why I read Daniel Song was ready for those moments. He was ready in his time. Yeah. I was kind of, kind of, this is what I told Daniel Son. I told him, like, yo, I told him this a while back. Yo, I appreciate you bringing me on this journey. But at the end of the day, I would have been here anyway, as much. And that's a humility and confidence. Yeah. But you made me, you allowed me to see this maybe a little earlier. But man, you know, those type of things. Meeting those eclipse, res, like those type of moments are etched in my head. It made me realize, okay, this is where I have to go to get here and stay here. So that's why I've taken such a when you guys hear this next shit, my the, the level I'm at right now is it's another level. I'm not playing no more. And those it's that type of shit. That listen, that, that, I, I have listened, me. I've listened to you for the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. And one thing I love about you, I always get excited about this type of thing, is that you have shown improvement. Right. You became so much stronger. Um, the work is very consistent. When you put together an album, you put together a fucking album. Right. You know what I mean? It's a theme that's going on there. Right. You, right. You're, you're curating properly. You're picking the right, right beats. You're taking your time with the lyrics. You're giving us choruses. It's I'm musical, glad. bro. I'm glad you see that because it's it's deeper than that for me because I could drop sick drop joints and be braggadocious all day and that 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 becomes very boring to me and I need to do me you know what I mean I'm me I'm me so I want to grow and this is why the people that really support me really support me because they watch me from here to here and now we're going there so I I I love that like I'm not ashamed of nothing before I'm proud but when 
I'm so excited to get them into these next parts because I've been working on this craft. I've been taking yeah. this seriously. And for those people out there, because we know it's a lot of albums out there, for y'all out there who was looking for something to listen to, if y'all might have missed something, I'm good for giving y'all gems. Just let me just say this, because I just listened to it recently. Let me just say this. Turn on Let Me Talk My Shit. Mm-hmm. You're getting your whip. Turn it on. Just start driving. If you got like a 20, 30 minute trip, trust right. me on this one. Right. Trust me. Go listen to Let Me Talk My Shit. Go, go listen to Bite the Bullet. You know what I mean? 98. The, soul, all of these. the Science of Understanding Life. Yeah. Pro- pimp Prophecy is my present. Sewer Science. Yo, look. Let Me Talk My Shit got slept on too because iTunes wouldn't let me put it up there. It's wow. only on Spotify. And that's unfortunate, but we're working to get that get that there. We had some little complications. I don't know. There's some bullshit. But Let Me Talk My Shit. Soul's up there. 98 miles right there. Bite the bullets right there. With all due respect is right there. Physics of filth is right there. Sewer science is behind me there. You got, bruh, Death in the Arena, that's um Fury. I think I'm on that too. Yeah. we All those joints that you see on the front door over there. We're yeah, here, I mean, real, a real solid, strong catalog that's only getting better. Um, your time is fastly approaching. Um, so I'm honored and lucky and blessed as hell to have you on the platform, Ace and Eastwood. And you got to start getting me some exclusive. Let me get one or two. I'll I never play them until somebody tell me I I'll can. Send, I'll send you. I'll send you. You know what? I have to get. I'm gonna start giving. I'm gonna start getting your critique. You get early, early full projects. So thank you, sir. Sw- switch those because I like. Honor. I That's like how honor. you move. I'm tapped in, Mike. Man, That's Mike Power is the truth out here. Man. Thank you so much. This made my whole week. This might have made my whole month. I'm glad I was able to no. kind of round out no. the end of my year with an interview like this. I've been waiting so long. Asen, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. For... <laughs> Yo. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for blessing me. And thank you for what you do for the culture and keep on doing it. And um that I mean that's the end of the interview. It's love, bro. Love, thank man. you. Peace and love, Mike Powers, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Flowers. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers?